Hello guys, uh, I thought I was going to make a video that I wished I had when I started to paint and I was looking uh, looking for um, water soluble oils or water mixable oils and uh, I would like uh, would want to know what brand to what is better you know uh, so I was uh, googling and youtubing and everything and tried to find a video that compared some of the brands and the one I found was uh, not by brands I could get here so I went out and bought some uh, different brands um, I have Artisan, Cobra Artist uh, and Daniel Smith uh, I have mostly the same colors um, these are not aligned very well. I'm sorry about that. Um, and titanium white is not on here yet. Uh, I'm gonna do that on another piece of paper. So I have different. So let's say I have uh, the CAD reds. Here is all three I have Daniel Smith, Winter Newton Artisan and uh, Cobra Artist. Uh, if it could focus, it's not focusing, okay. This is Cadmium Red Medium. This is Cadmium Red Hue. Cadmium Red Medium Hue. Eh, it's not very easy to, I don't have autofocus on, so that's why. Uh, so I don't exactly have all the same colors, but I have similar ones. Like uh, the yellows, as you can clearly see, this one is way darker. The one up here, than the two other ones. Uh, that's uh, because... Eh, not because, this makes no sense actually. But uh, That's Daniel Smith, it's Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. Uh, the Cobra Artist one is Cadmium Yellow Lemon and the Artisan is uh, Lemon Yellow so I don't exactly have all the same colors but I have similar ones so I have Burnt Umber on everyone uh, Ultramarine Blue is uh, uh, actually Artisan is French Ultramarine so that's the colors I have and I've tried to um, get all the, um, try to get the same amount, but it's not very easily. Like, um, for example, my Cobra Artist Burt Umber, it's uh, one of these big ass tubes. So that was a challenge. <laughs> but I think I've had it, have it sort of okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm basically going to try and spread it out. Try to use the same amount of paint. See how well it spreads. Uh, if anybody is more uh, stiff than others. Um, I know the whites are definitely stiffer and uh, the earth color. <clears throat> so I'll start with... Uh, I'm going to do like that. I'm going to start with the cal cadmium yellow light hue from Daniel Smith. Just going to try and spread it out. Actually, very smooth. I have a ballpoint pen underneath, so I don't know if it's gonna mix in or not, but it surely it doesn't um, cover the the pen though that very well. I think I have this. I'm gonna try and get the same amount on everyone, but you know, I'm gonna clean my brush out. Which I do with uh, just water and a uh, paper towel. Still gonna, it's gonna stain the brush, but it's not really coming off anymore. Uh, let's go to the Cobra Artist one. This is uh, Cadmium Yellow Lemon.
I feel like this one is smoother. Definitely a beautiful color though. Goes a long way. I'm actually my bad. I did not do that with the with the Daniel Smith one, so I'm gonna go back and do that there. Just cleaning the brush. Gonna try and spray it out as much as I can. Yeah, okay, so the Cobra one was spreading more. You clearly see that. I think I got the same amount of paint as well. Um, and the lemon yellow from Artisan. I'm gonna go up here. So I don't lose that. Okay, first thing, it's way more stiff. Oh, I got some burnt umber in there. Yeah, this is way stiffer than the other two. And I got some of uh, the ballpoint pen out. It does spread though, but it's for sure much stiffer than uh, both Daniel Smith and Cobra. We clean my brush again. And I'm getting all the water out as well, so it's fair that way. As you know, water will dilute the paint and make it easier to spread. But I'm getting pretty much everything out. Uh, let's go over to Burnt Umber. I have a feeling this is going to be way stiffer. Um, I know that these two are way stiffer. I haven't tried that one yet. But like this is... Uh, the earth tones are kind of hard. Way harder to, sp to spread. A very nice coverage though. <clears throat> Cleaning the brush. <coughs> I'm sorry. So that's Daniel Smith. Let's check out Cobra. This is also stiffer than the yellows. I'm not sure, these are, I think the Daniel, Daniel Smith one it was spreading more, well, like easier, it looks like this is lasting longer than the Daniel Smith one, it's a beautiful color though. Okay, so next one is Artisan. Uh, the yellow one was way stiffer than the other ones. But actually, this uh, this looks more oily. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not even in the frame. <laughs> so let's try. Yeah, I... I don't... F the color is beautiful. It's not, not a big a difference. The artisan is 
quite a uh, quite a bit more cheap than the two other. But it's not spreading as well. So far the actually the cobra looks better. Okay, so next one is uh, cadmium, the red. So this is cadmium red hue from Daniel Smith. It's very buttery. Yeah, very much like the yellow. Beautiful color. And it spreads absolutely amazing. Yeah, that, that's 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 just gorgeous to be honest. So the red one is very staining. That comes off with uh, water and soap later though. Uh, let's go to Cobra Artist one. Try and get the same amount. Also spreading fine, but I think Daniel Smith one was spreading a little bit better. This is also very buttery. The overall color though, I think uh, this one is a little bit darker than that one. This is a real cadmium though, so. Let's clean my brush again. Excuse me. So next one is the artisan one. I have to move it up here again. This is cadmium red medium. Also hue. If I'm not mistaken, wait. This is not cadmium red medium. This is the wrong. <laughs> this is cadmium red hue, not medium. Try and get the same amount. Yeah, this is this is more stickier, and I have read people saying that about artisan, that it is a little bit stickier than the other ones. So it's not gonna spread as nice and as easily. But like, if you compare the price between these, that's not bad. Like artisan is uh, quite a bit cheaper. Color is, it's lighter than both of these, but this is just not the medium one. Oh, and I'm poking paint everywhere. Okay, so the next one is uh, Ultramarine Blue, which is Ultramarine Blue in both Daniel Smith and Cobra. In Artisan, it's um, French Ultramarine. Not a big of a difference anyway. So. Let's check it out. Daniel Smith first. Try and get the same amount. It's also very buttery. Might be a little bit more stickier than the other ones. It's not spreading as nice as um, basically all of them. Maybe more like um, a little bit better than um, the Burnt Umber. Color is gorgeous though. A little bit stickier than the rest of them. I'm gonna get the whites in here on another piece of paper I'm oh, actually I'm using uh, its canvas paper but I have uh, just taken um, put one coat of gesso on so it's not it's very cheap paper 
let's try Cobra Artist, Ultramarine Blue. This feels very similar to the to the Daniel Smith one. Also, not as buttery as uh, the other ones. Very similar to the Daniel Smith one. Both beautiful colors though, but this seems a bit lighter than the than the Daniel Smith one. I don't know if you can tell that. Yeah, you should be. This is a little bit lighter than the Daniel Smith one. Okay, so the last one is uh, French Ultramarine from Artisan. Yeah, it is like it is. It's like it. It's sticky in a way. I have to drag harder. Once I do, it spreads like uh, spreads like these two basically. Color is gorgeous though. You like this looks more like a red shade uh, blue than the other ones. At least to my eyes, May might not do that on camera. Yeah, I don't think you can see that on camera. Okay, so I'm going to come back with um, the white. And when I put that out on the on the paper, I'll be back here. Okay, so I'm back again. I have put uh, the whites out. I don't know how well you're going to see it after I spread it, but we'll, we'll try. So this is uh, Daniel Smith Titanium White. This is Cobra Artist Titanium White. And this is Artisan Titanium White. Uh, this is bigger in volume because I have, uh, have this big tube and it's very hard to get out small amounts. <laughs> so that's why. Uh, one main difference between these is that Artisan uses um, safflower oil in their titanium white, if I'm not mistaken. I'll read the tube. Yes, modified safflower oil. Uh, so this is gonna uh, dry slower than these two. We'll see, and it should be more... Um, because the safflower oil is uh, more pale than the linseed oil, this should be, in theory, whiter, like more clear white. This can have a little yellow tint to them. Uh, okay, so let's try and spread out uh, Daniel Smith. Okay, the first thing I notice, this is very stiff. I don't know how well you're seeing this. But probably not very well. And I'm getting some uh, red in my white. I did not clean my brush properly. Uh, this is very stiff though. I would say if you're gonna use this one, you should probably be using uh, some kind of medium with it. Uh, not painting straight out of the tube. Um, it's gonna make your hard, uh, make your life harder spreading the paint out on a canvas. Um, so I have used that one before, and uh, it is not my favorite white. Uh, the only one I have not used here yet in a painting is the artisan one, because the the artisan paints I got recently in um in a set that was on sale and I thought I'll buy it and do this video with it uh, okay so Cobra let's see how this is this is not as stiff 
as the Daniel Smith one. It's actually much easier to spread out. Um, and this is kind of what um, kind of consistency I like. Yeah, this is way easier to spread out than the Daniel Smith one. I do, I do get a little bit of red tint in the white paint now. Because I'm not really scrubbing the paint out of it. And the red has a tendency to tint a little bit the, the brush. So if you're gonna use the reds, and then you're gonna wanna use plain white paint. Clean your brush properly. It's gonna make your life much easier. Uh, okay, so this is Artisan. This is with safflower oil, and I have never spread this out before. I have no idea how it's supposed, to, how it's gonna feel like. Okay, not bad. I like it. This has a very similar feel to it, like the Cobra one. Very easy to spread out. This is not sticky like the other the other paints. This is very buttery. I'm pleasantly surprised actually. I don't know how the pigment count is. But the feel of it is actually beautiful. This is very similar to um, Cobra. Oh, I'm mixing now. Um... I do not like the Daniel Smith one. Um, for people who use a lot of mediums when they paint, this is probably amazing. <clears throat> but for uh, for my paint style, I don't like to use a lot of mediums. And yeah, I do not like this uh, um, white from Daniel Smith. I like their other paint. I do not like the white. Um, so, I'm dreading to use this, <laughs> to be honest with you. I have been using it, but I I went out and got uh, this one from Cobra. Uh, like Cobra and Artisan is paints that is quite easy to find here. Um, Daniel Smith is uh, not easy to find here. We have one specialty shop that is not that far away from me. And that imports uh, Daniel Smith paint. So this is the most expensive one I have. Uh, Daniel Smith is a little bit more expensive than Cobra. Not by much though. And Artisan is uh, clearly the cheapest one. Um, they are, I'm not sure if they do carry real cadmiums. I think they do. But like um, the one in the in the in the set did not have any real cadmiums in them. Um, Daniel Smith does not carry uh, real cadmium. Uh, the only one that does here is uh, Cobra. So when I paint, I mostly use uh, the Cobra paint. This is my favorite so far. Uh, I would like to try the Holbein Duo Aqua, but I cannot find it here. So, maybe later. Uh, well, thank you for watching the, the low production uh, video. I hope this can help some of you. This was kind of like a video I wanted to watch before I uh, started to, went into... Um, water soluble oils and could not find it so yeah kind of making this a little bit for myself but if you enjoy it that's great <laughs> uh okay thank you for watching bye bye